uh, but it's one win in 38 for Spurs here now at Stamford Bridge. So Thomas Tuchel has at least preserved that uh, terrific record they've got. The hold they seem to have over Tottenham. Absolutely brilliant, he said. He's the happiest coach in the world right now. Can you understand why? Yeah, I thought they were brilliant, Chelsea, for large periods of the game. But it, just that one final piece is that number nine they've tried and tried time and time again and it is a boring story but they've executed everything right he said fluid they were fluid in chopping and changing formations entries into the final third but haven't done enough to kill off the game do you think they win the game with a, a nine yeah 100 percent. the first 30 minutes was crosses going in left right and center didn't have a, a number nine in there sterling wasn't quite in the areas but he's not the answer for me he's great to this team and he will add goals but he's not what they need, and they need a striker. What sort of player are we talking about, Karen? Because they've obviously let Werner go back to mm. Germany. Lukaku was here last year. I think a lot of people thought he was going to be that, that final piece in the jigsaw, but it didn't happen for him. I mean, I don't know. The two best strikers have gone to the other two teams, haven't they? The, the, the number nine, Haaland and Nunez, that was available. But it might have to be someone that's tried and tested in the Premier League. I know Lukaku was here previously, but didn't really do it at United. And then the other strikers they brought in, had, Werner hadn't done it either. So maybe go with someone that they know can bang in goals here and know the league inside out. And that's just the one missing piece for them. You agree? They've been, they've been fabulous today, Chelsea. I mean, they have been fabulous. The football, super. I've had three shots on goal. The score with two and Larissa has made one save. For all the fabulous football, they should be having more than three shots at the goal. What's your take on it? Yeah, I mean, Thomas Tuchel knows that. That's why he bought Lukaku last season, but Lukaku just wasn't the right fit because the way Chelsea played in that first 30, well, certainly the whole of the first half, the intensity, how quick they were with the ball, I'm not sure they could have played that well with Lukaku because that's one of the reasons why they've had to move him on because he just basically stood up front. You know, and, and oh, that's we, unfair. Stood up front. I think maybe to, in his last days. Why do you think they got, got rid to, of him? Well, because he didn't want to be here. He felt he was changing the but system. But he didn't do enough to be here, Greg. You can't he didn't want to be here because he wasn't good enough. Still. Lukaku's, a, a, when he's at it, he's as good as anyone as a number nine. Yeah, but Greg, you've just said it yourself, when he's at it. Yeah, and that, that's, a, that's a problem. That is a that's problem. why he's gone. That's what but I'm saying. He felt, he, he felt he was being, they weren't playing to his strengths. But I don't think you can turn around and say that Lukaku stood still, stand still. I, I don't about. think he works hard enough for Lukaku. I think that's one of the reasons why. Well, he's, he's not here. So but there's talk now of a Bamiyang. Might that work? Yeah, he's, he's, what's your about a Bamiyang 32, 32, 33? He knows him from from his time at Dortmund. Dortmund. But you know, you can kid you by remembering people how of how they were. And I tell you, the great Jock Steen said that. You know, don't remember what they were like. Remember what they're like, or look at them today and make a judgment on today. I think it's an element of that. It didn't work out for him at Arsenal, for what reasons? It'd bring him back to... our. We saw today, our football is different than anywhere else. And the hardest place to play on a football pitch is up front. At least time, people are aggressive to you, the intensity, the concentration levels, everything's fabulous about our league. And he found it difficult here playing for Arsenal. Is it going to be different for him playing for Chelsea? It might be a short-term fix, though, Graham. You know. Well, he found life here difficult under Arsenal. And I think, you know, at 33... You know, strikers are the first ones, what happens when they get bashed around, they spend a career getting bashed around for 10, 12 years. And then they start to come towards the ball all of a sudden because they don't want to be running in there where they might get hurt. At 33, it would be unusual for someone to come here at 33 and be such a success in our league, even playing for a team that has that much of the ball and creates that much of this team. Where could the right striker take them, do you think, this season? It to be in the nearest challenges to Liverpool and Man City, as they, as they were last season. Uh, I think what they've done today, and I, and I mentioned this before the game, I felt they'd have a, a point to prove. There's been so much talk of Tottenham this season. And I think Tottenham coming away today, it's a great point for them. But I think in their minds, they'll think, it's still another level for us to go to, to almost get where Chelsea or City and Liverpool are and really challenge them. But, yeah, I, I, think, I, think, I think they're close. I still think they're going to do a lot of business between now and the end of the window, so it's difficult to judge where they'll be. But I wouldn't be surprised if a striker comes in, Obama Yang or another midfield player. You agree? Yeah, I do. I think he's, a, he's an answer for a short-term fix, and I think he's perfect. Worked with a manager, been in the league, and yeah, I think he's got a point to prove given where he's previously been.